Oh, stack. Yes, my boy. Lovely to meet you, bruv. Yeah, good to meet you, man. Looking well, mate. You too, man. I stuck bro. a bit of vintage Nike on for you today. Yeah, why not, why not, why not? Thank you for coming on, man. I'll be looking forward to this one. Yeah, Thank you, Thank you. Let's go, man. Let's go. Mo, this is obviously where you grew up, Hornsey. Hey, hey, so hey. You're, you're a North London boy through and through. You know that. You're an Arsenal boy? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Man. So in that league, baby. It's in that league, man. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm from South East London, but I actually yeah. support Arsenal as well. Come on, man. That's how we connected. You give me yeah, one, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's connected. But yeah, what was it like growing up around here? You know the usual hood shit, man. I don't want to bore you, bro. Nah. Same shit, different hood, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I get it's it, It's a spot, man. You love it, isn't it? Do you come, do you come back here a lot, or? Yeah, unfortunately, I shouldn't, though. Huh? I do. This is where my friends are, man. This is where I shoot all my videos. See this little section there? Really? Shoot every single video, here. Do you know It's a good day for a video shoot today, isn't it? Yeah, man. Get do a bit of auto-tune on and I'll get on it. Do a wild remix. <laughs> yeah, wild yeah, remix. Yeah, must come. <laughs> First question, as we always ask, yeah? Talk us through your fit. Got some Dior's. I don't know. What's this? B30s? I think B30s. Right. Got the instant night tech every day where you know the team. <laughs> got yellow. I like this brand. We got yellow, my boys. Got some LV gloves. Yeah, man, kept the calm and casual, man. We're in the end, so why not? Yeah. What was the first ever luxury item that you that you ever bought? First ever luxury item, I think. I think it was some new batons, you know. What the high the high tops or? Uh, I think they were the lows, you know. Yeah. Went a bit different. It was the low ones, the little grown folks ones. What's your thoughts on them? Remember the spiky ones? Yeah, yeah, I remember those. Did you, did I used you, to did you them. like those? I used to eat them, but I didn't get a pair though. Yeah. I didn't get a pair. I used to eat them though. What's the most expensive luxury item you bought? Now this can be anything. My watch. Yeah, I love that. Can't go wrong with a kettle. What, what watch did you get? Uh, Dayday. Yellow gold? Yeah. Oh, yes. that's bad boy. Yes. <laughs> Have you got a little watch collection or? It's something like it's AP and uh, Dayday. I'll tell you a funny story. Um, I bought an AP mm. um, because I was shooting a video one day with Mr. the Frankenstein video. Okay. And he had an AP in it. So I just called him one day and said, bro, you need to do something for the video, man. It should be matching or something. Then this light bulb popped in my head and said, oh, let me get your watch. And the same day I hit up A. I said, yo, I need to get a watch. I went there and copped it. I'm performing with you, I want a matching watch. <laughs> yeah. That's just, just quality. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite brand? It has to be simple. It's basic, but it has to be nightmare. Class being with me for the, from the start, night takes you know my thing, man. It has to be night, man. That's what I love about night, because the thing yeah. is, you can obviously go gym in it, you can pop out in the summer in it, anything. nice matching Anything. Set, everything in it. Anything. You'd choose Nike as your as your favourite brand, but yeah. what would be your favourite luxury brand? It might have to be Moncler. Okay. It might have to be Moncler for the jackets, man. Any particular colour? I got a pink one that I really like. I shot it in the video. I'll show you the video after. Him. So, so, so he most that right? Is that is that what you want to pick one Yeah. I'll yeah, yeah. oh, check that out then, man. But are you not a massive fan of like you know when people have it's just logos everywhere? Do you mm. prefer the plain stuff? Yeah, plain stuff, man. I used to be like that, but I just as I'm getting older, I like more simple stuff, more plain. You get me more subtle with it. Before you get you going on stage, do you, do you put a big plan into your outfit, or do you just go with how you feel on a day? You know what it is. This is a problem, car. You see, when I'm going to perform, I don't really think about outfit like that. Okay. I just think on anything, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I see other artists, they dress up and do all their mad um, outfits and that. I don't even do all of that, bro. Mm. Like, if I'm performing tonight, I'll probably wear this or something. You get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm just calm with it. What's one thing from your wardrobe that you can't live without? Nike Air Forces, man. It has to be the Air, mm. Air Whites. Mm. I've got a ton of them. Are you one of those people that like you wear them a couple of times and it's a new pair? Definitely. Away? Couples are a bit even too much. Yeah. Yeah, one crease and it's gone, man. How big's your training collection? Massive. I've got a whole, got a whole room for trainers. And there's so much I even keep some at the other house. It's just mad. I've got a lot. Lost count, bro. I'll be real. Some designer shit, some Nike shit. Mm. Depends how I'm feeling. 
depends on the day, the weather, the yeah, feeling. Yeah. Clothes are about feeling, you get what I'm saying? I get 100%. What size are you? Size 9. Size 9? Yeah. I'm a size 9. Tell you, if any of you don't want, mate, sling them my way. Yeah, I got you, man. You know label <laughs> source. So I'm guessing you've always had an interest in music. Yeah. But what age did you start making music, you know, and think, you know, I'm gonna, this, this could take off, I'm taking this seriously? I think I started that like, I was like 10, 10 years old, you know, bro. I don't know if it was 10, I was, when 50 Cent dropped Get Rich or Die Trying. So it just inspired me mm. to start rapping and all that. But I, obviously I wasn't taking it serious, I was too young. Mm, mm. So I'll go to my, like, my Uncle Dave's house, just record something on the laptop or record something, do a tune, sounds good, then I just kept it. Became a hobby, and I said, "Yeah, man." Would you say your uncle was a bit of an inspiration and a bit of a, a bit of an help to you then? Yeah, hundred percent, man. We got Uncle Dave, man. At what point did you realise, look, I'm making it now? What was the come up like? When I realised I'm making it, I think I dropped a tune called Nobody. But you see that song? It's so crazy because before I shot it, everyone knew this was going to be the one to blow. Mm. I don't know what it was, it's just that, that sound, that certain feeling of sound, no one was dropping that at them times of this. Mm. Mm. My favourite song of yours is Wild. Wild, wild dear. Wild, wild. wild, dear. I didn't even like that song, to be honest, bro. Really? Yeah, I didn't like it. Even to this day, I'm not really a fan of it. That's always interesting to hear, because I'm guessing you're, you're going to be the most critical of your own music, aren't you? Yeah. My favourite songs are the ones that I don't really like. No, I wouldn't say not necessarily like, but if I didn't like it, I wouldn't pull it out. Yeah. But my favourite songs, psh, it has to be Shannon. Yeah, Shannon, that's the favourite one. That's the first favourite one. And maybe Block Popping or something. Anything coming up? You got anything in the pipeline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to drop a project this year, inshallah. I'll be looking to come to one of them shows, man. Come on, my boys. It's lit, man. Bear girl, everything, man. <laughs> that, yeah, that's like the reason I'm deck, coming. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pull up, man. man. Pull up, man. <laughs>would you say personally for you at least the highest point in your career most definitely move with my mum oh amazing. my family selling out brixton twice first wireless i ever done because i always wanted to do wireless and i ended up doing it mm. that was a very big goal mm. for me you sold out brixton you yeah. performed at wireless you yeah. said you'd always wanted to do that yeah i mean how did that feel on stage i was a bit nervous at first car it's like my first time performing to such a big crowd, isn't mm, it? Yeah. So when I went on there, I just felt like home. Man. Then I ended up doing a few more afterwards. The first time was the time when I thought, yeah, I'm a rapper now. <laughs> yeah, you know I love saying? that. I'm a rapper, officially a rapper. Now. Do you feel like nerves are good though? Because it means you care about it. Yeah, 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 facts, 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 facts. Has there been any low points for you? But there's been defo a lot of lows, man. In terms of what you weren't happy with what you the terms you made or just in general? No, just in general, man. Life yeah. just the shit that fame of brings. Course. Everyone talks about the pros but no one really talks about the cons. Mm. That this game this shit brings, man. The love always outweighs the hate, you get what I'm saying, man? Yeah, yeah, definitely man. So there's tunnel vision on the left. Have you got any advice for any any UK artists coming up now that, that wanna make it? What advice would you give them? Don't force shit. I don't feel like you need people. Consistency. Do you know what? Consistency, that's the word. That's the main thing, bro. That's what I lack sometimes, isn't it? I don't drop enough. Mm. But <laughs> I'm gonna start getting on to it, yeah. But consistency is a big thing, man. Trust me. Well, I'm looking forward to the new album, mate. Yeah, I'm active, man. And it's been an absolute pleasure, bro. Yeah, for, honestly, like, like, like I said, I've been really looking forward to this one. So thank you for giving me your time, mate. Come on. And thank obviously, you. best of luck with everything. And I hope to be at one of your shows soon, yeah? We're live. <laughs> Yo, stat rap, we're live in eight right now. We got label source for coming to you to the hood and check them, man. It done now. Brr.